I've never shot portraits with Ektar. We're gonna overexpose a half a stop, I think. I don't know what's gonna happen. Ooh, it's cold. I'm Meg Meyer. I'm originally born and raised in uh, New York City, but I'm in LA now. It is 7.15 in the morning, and I would say it's pretty chipper outside. <laughs> Are you are you a tough girl being from New York? Um, I would like to say I'm a softy, but I'm street smart. Perfect. Okay, good. Let's shoot. How long have you been in LA? Um, eight years. -ish. Really? Yeah. You no, know, you're local. Yeah, I would say I I would call LA more my home than New York at this point. Yeah. Yeah. You like it, huh? I do. The weather is. I like to look at every photo shoot kind of like I'm preparing a meal. And I know what I want to make, but there's a lot of improvisation involved in it. And you better believe there's definitely a recipe. I'm right here up right now. This is more portraity. I'm going to get longer. I'll, I'll tell you. Oh, this is... Okay, let me see. Yes. Great. Right there. Now look, look right at me. Just, I'm gonna get really close and see how this looks. Oh, awesome. I'm gonna put you right, I think right here. Yeah, let's try that. There's something very special about shooting in the first light of the day. The sunrise light is just fresh and clean and amazing, as if the sun is just happy to be seen. I don't really know what it is. The, the air seems fresher and clearer. It's, it's got a different quality than the sunset. And beyond that, if you can convince someone to get up at four or five in the morning, and drive out into the desert, hike out under a bridge and do a photo shoot in the first light of the day, they're in it, they're ready, and you can see it in their eyes. I'm trying to move fast while this light is here. Art is, I think, insanely important because it's self-expression and it allows us to be unique and embrace everything that we find beautiful in the world. Okay, okay, sick. Dang! Let's talk technicals. I'm shooting with my Nikon F4 and a 105 millimeter lens. It's a portrait lens. It's a 2.5, which is fairly fast. And I'm shooting with Ektar, which is a 100 speed film. It's very contrasty. I like it when you're kind of that way. And gotcha. This lens is amazingly sharp. And Ektar is a very fine grain film. So the detail in these photos <laughs> is really awesome. I would say that we create our own reality and growth doesn't come without failure and that's just a part of the process and life ebbs and flows and if we don't do what makes us happy, then we're wasting our time. You don't ever have anything to lose uh, by trying something new and sometimes getting up a little early or being uncomfortable or trying something new is when you really get the best end result. Let's put you right by the wall, because I want to, like, only the part that's where the light is is going to pop out. Yeah. Meg is a total pro. She's a working actress and model. She's very experienced. She's very comfortable. I don't have to tell her anything at all. She's awesome. All I really need to do is just be clear about what I want from her, which isn't very much. I need to keep the communication open. I need to keep it fun. 
which is easy because we're having fun. Shooting with people like Meg is awesome. It's as easy as it can possibly be. I think the people in my life inspire me, and I think um, inspiration kind of comes with anything and anything that sparks interest or joy or creativity or just any provoked thought, really. Oh, dude. I'm still just overwhelmed at how sharp this lens is and how detailed this film is. So when I nail focus, which I almost always did here, it's a manual focus lens. When I nail it, it just looks awesome. Yes. And... I'm definitely gonna be shooting more Ektar with this camera and this lens in the future because I just couldn't be happier with the results. We might have to go over here a little bit. What I'm trying to do is stay in the shadows, but keep you in the sun. Yeah. Then it doesn't flare my lens, but like that sun is, is like outlining your. This F4 is a big old pro Nikon camera from I think the late nineties, early two thousands. It's kind of a beast, but I use it much like you would a modern digital camera. I mean, it practically does everything for you. It winds the film super fast. Uh, I'm shooting aperture priority, so I just keep the lens wide open. It's got a, a shutter speed that goes up to an 8,000th of a second, so it can pretty much handle anything. I don't have to stop down, and I just let the camera meter for me, and I just shoot, shoot, shoot. If I'm not careful, I can roll through a whole roll of film in probably 5-10 minutes but I'm trying to slow down, I'm trying to focus, and I'm trying to make every composition and every shot count. Adventure to me means playing the line of things that we find exciting or fearful or new. Um, that way we can kind of always keep stretching our bounds and things that we want to do. See where it's dark on the bottom there? I'll put you right there. What if we just, what if we just lose the fur for a minute? Can you do that? I'll, here, I'll hold it. Because it's just for a minute before you get cold. Yeah. Right, yeah, right in there is good. And you know, you can go, love it, oh, love it. You can look at me, this is so cool. Okay, let me do some of my big camera. Okay, come off the wall just slightly, Meg. Yeah, right there, right there. And then, yeah, kind of, I like your wide stance, kind of badass. Yeah, that's the shit. Yeah, and you don't even have to look up. You, if you're looking down like that, it's badass. I love this location because yes, it's just an old bridge out in the desert, but I can get a different look in every corner of this spot. The light hits different. It's a different quality, different intensity different temperature depending on where I am. And I can move out into the open and, and I've got a big wide open space. I just find it, it's really easy. There's no one here to bother us. And I can do a lot of different things in a short amount of time. Okay. Well, because the back's gonna be totally black. Cool. So you're gonna pop. Pull that jacket off your shoulder maybe or something. Yeah, that's the shit. Face out just slightly. Yes, right there, right there. A little more out, a little more out, right there. can't wait to see. So here's the recipe. 
You have someone you want to shoot. Find a place. Pick a time. Pick a camera. This is one of the least important things, but it does affect how you work. The camera, more than anything, affects how you're able to work. Then you pick a lens. This is one of the most important things because this will determine the character of your photos. And on par with the final ingredient, uh, the most important thing is your subject. The final ingredient is you. You set the tone, you do the work, you have the vision. You create a space that is collaborative, that is safe, that is friendly. You set the tone. You're the final ingredient and the most important ingredient. You mix all this stuff up and you've got some photos. I could shoot here in this same spot with the same person at a different time of day, different film stock, different camera. We could have totally different work in the same place with the same person. All these ingredients are interchangeable. What do you want to do? I'm just hoping every time that I'm surprised a little bit, I learn a little bit, and most importantly, I have fun and I'm proud of the work that we do together. At the end, we high five and we're friends forever. That was the last one. Freaking awesome, Meg. Crushed it. Crushed it.